Today, I'm going to walk you through the end-to-end -end user journey for a customer building Firefly application. It is important to note that there are multiple persona involved in this journey, and we've designed it so that each persona can stay and can work in their respective realms. On a high level, you have four main persona, the decision maker, the developer, the system administrator, and the end user. Starting with the decision maker, as the name indicates, this is often the one who takes a problem, decides on the solution, the execution plan, and the technology to use. Usually, this is also the person learning about Project Firefly through Adobe Summit or through our website. For the decision maker, they will be able to easily locate Project Firefly homepage and technical documentation on the Adobe Developer website. From there, they can find additional resources and links, such as this video, other blog posts, and tutorials for a deeper understanding in Project Firefly. Is it time to use Project Firefly in your enterprise use case? Well, we hope the answer will be a yes. This leads us to the developer portion of the journey. The developers will primarily work in the Adobe Developer Console and in their local environment. Through the console, developers can easily create Firefly projects using an existing template. Within the new project, developers can configure workspaces to suit their unique development needs. Within each workspace, developers can set up access to Adobe APIs, events, and Adobe I.O. runtime. Once the developers have the project in Developer Console all set up, they can start development on their local machine. The Adobe I.O. CLI would be the main touch point on their local machine. Using the CLI, developers can set up project structure with sample code, retrieve credentials from console, configure CI-CD pipeline, build, test, and debug their application locally or in the cloud. Once the application is ready, developers can easily deploy their application using the CLI or the CI-CD pipeline they've set up. With the application deployed and ready to be published, the developers would go back to the Adobe Developer Console, where they can input application info, like icon and description. Then they can request to publish this application for eligible users within this organization. After the request is submitted, the approval status is shown in Developer Console so that developers can stay informed on the progress. Once the developers hit that Submit button, the application goes into the hands of the system administrator for the Experience Cloud organization. At this stage, the system admins will receive emails that link to this published request. They can review this request in My Exchange, the app management surface for Adobe Exchange. On My Exchange, the system admins can review all incoming application published requests and they get links to preview the application before deciding to approve or to reject this request. This is also the location for system admins to manage all published applications. They can choose to retract existing applications at any time. With all this work leading up, finally we have an application live. This is where the end user comes in. The end user can log into their Experience Cloud home and find a link in the Quick Access section that points to Project Firefly apps. Clicking on that takes them to an application catalog page listing all applications accessible to them. From there, they can open the application and start using it in their daily workflow. More information on Project Firefly can be found on the Adobe Developer website.